money mistakes send you to the sidelines. Meet a financial advisor who knows your smartest investments include seizing the day. From the News Channel 5 Network, this is In Your Prime. And now your host, Dr. Friday. G'day, I'm Dr. Friday and this is In Your Prime and thank you for joining me. Today we are going to really pound home how important it is to plan for success. That's right, all it comes down to is if you understand where your money is, guess what? You can figure out how to keep more of it in your pocket. And one of the biggest things I keep getting calls and information on is when we're planning for success, things happen. Of course life happens. But when it comes down to it, one of the number one reasons people are having such a hard time is job loss. They don't know today if they're going to have their jobs tomorrow or when it comes down to it if they're going to be still making the same amount of money. And nobody's planning for the fact that they could lose their job. Everyone's saying, hey, wait, I can collect unemployment. Yeah, wow, you're going to get two to three hundred dollars a week. And yes, they did extend it. Congratulations, you now can be on unemployment for 99 weeks. Pretty soon we're going to have a whole socialized system here. But when it gets down to it, you are responsible for paying your bills and you've got to get out there and really start figuring out how can you be one of the people that isn't unemployed, one of the people that is employed. And the way to do that is to create your own future. It comes down to it. You've got to figure out if today you're not sure if you're going to have a job, you've got to make your job. How are we going to do that? I tell you guys every single time, you're going to have to start building your own businesses. If the jobs aren't out there, you're going to have to make that job. And when it comes to it, sometimes other things happen in life, right? First, you've got to figure out how you're going to pay your bills. If you're not making enough money today, because on my radio show, I'm always asked, hey, Friday, you say you put more money in your pocket. How do you do it? Well, one way is if you don't have enough money today, get a second job, create a business. That's right. There is more hours in the day than most of us aren't using. I know you're tired, but really when it comes to it, you got to find a way of keeping that money in your pocket. But first, you've got to make the money. Find a way by creating your own job. Next, I know divorce probably being one of the number one things to get deal with. No one plans for divorce, do you? You mean, it kind of happens, right? I mean, things aren't going smoothly. Next thing you know, either yourself or your spouse decides the big D is going to happen. And in my world, one of the biggest mistakes people do is they, ah, oh, I don't like this person. I just want to get away from them. Well, that's great. That's just a fond and dandy. But you know what? Uncle Sam becomes a big part of it because if you don't plan it right, you're going to lose a lot of money in divorce and not just splitting the assets, but you're going to end up paying a lot of taxes. A lot of times people will say, I don't want alimony. I only want child support. They don't care what the other spouse has to deal with. All they want is what they can keep in their pocket, right? But Think about it, if your spouse is paying a lot of money, or I should say ex-spouse is paying a lot of money to the government, that's less money you're gonna get from them. So you've gotta make sure you're working out the best ways to deal with marriage and divorce. And marriage on the other side, next thing you've got is two people's problems merging together. Not a bad thing, it could be a great thing. But when it comes to money, it can be a big problem. One of the biggest reasons for the divorce is usually money management. So when you get married, make sure you figure out how are you going to work with the bills, right? How are you going to make it all come together? Are you going to be able to go through your marriage and you're going to say, okay, this person's paying this much money and that person's going to pay for this. You got to figure out the money when you, before you go down the aisle and say, hey, we're all going to get married, fine and dandy, live happy ever after. You can. It could be a fabulous thing. My parents have been married forever, but when it comes to marriage, think about the money. Find a way to plan for success because otherwise, guess what? You're going to fail. Last thing, one of the biggest things that's come up in our family is education. We've got a bunch of kids that are now growing up and they're getting ready to go to university. And of course, again, life has happened. The parents might not have been quite as prepared for what they thought they were going to be prepared for. They thought, oh, we'll have all the money or this child will get education through some sort of government plan or something. Well, it doesn't always happen that way, does it? Sometimes your income as a parent are too high. Even though it may not feel like it, you cannot qualify for certain funding because of your income. And otherwise, maybe the grade point average, or maybe it's just that the child wants to go to a school that they don't have any funding for. Well, to do that, you have to sit down and plan it. And the way to do that best is to sit down. I, I mean, I think my sister-in-law has a, 
perfect plan when it comes to education. She kind of got the whole family together, everybody, husbands, wives, everybody together and said, how are we going to do it? And everybody was able to give a little bit to it. And so I want to go ahead and walk you over to um, one of my videos I had done this week. And it tells a little bit about how we're going to plan getting rid of 2009 and working our way into 2010. We're going to cut to a video clip I did earlier. All right, tax season's over. I can get rid of these tax records. is what we really need to do with our tax records. Really simple to do, too. All you want to do is take your records, put them in to your scanner. Hit your scan button, and just as soon as they're done scanning, it's so easy. Once you've got them out of there and you've scanned them all through, all you want to do is take those records, put them right into the shredder, and voila, it's all taken care of. No more worrying about, oh my gosh, what if the government comes and asks for something? Remember, you have to justify your taxes for seven years. So if you don't have your tax records and you can't prove your deductions, they can fine you and they can have lots of penalties. And you know what's fabulous about this whole thing? When it's all done, this whole box, when it's empty, I can throw it away and I'll have everything I want right here on my memory stick. Now this is a fabulous tax moment back to the studios. All right, and hopefully that will give you some ideas on how to get rid of all that paperwork and get it all very simplified onto your memory stick. We're gonna take a quick break here, and when we get back, we're gonna talk more about how to plan for success. with In Your Prime, and I'm your host, Dr. Friday. And we're gonna visit with Mr. Free Enterprise at Blue Coast Burrito. I keep telling you to get off the sofa and get back to work. I'm a true believer that we must make our own future. And if you can't find a job, then you need to make it. And today and every day on this show, I'm gonna try to tell you about opportunities to find ways to invest your money and a great way for you to basically figure out how to make your money work for you. It doesn't mean you have to have a lot of money. Some of these places are franchises and business ideas I'm going to give you, it could just be sweat laborers, like I call it, no real money. And then others, sure, you'll have to put your money where your mouth is. But either way, it's going to be a way of getting you off the sofa, putting the potato chips away, and getting back to work. So why don't we go check in with Mr. Free Enterprise over at Blue Coast Burrito. G'day, I'm Dr. Friday, host of In Your Prime, and today we're sitting at Blue Coast Burrito. And the reason we're doing this because we want to show America how to get off the sofa and go back to work one job at a time. And believe it or not, if you've ever eaten here, the food is absolutely fabulous, but what's better, you could actually be an owner of one of these. And we've brought our business broker, our specialist in business, to join us and tell us more about Blue Coast Burrito. Well, and how that you, how you like fabulous my new look? hat you've got yes. there. Yes, well, this is a fun concept, <laughs> and so I had to have some fun. Yes, <laughs> okay. and I can see you're having a great time <laughs> well, enjoying that's fun. this whole concept. Anyway, th this is a fantastic brand. First of all, it's home-based right, right here in Nashville. They started in this area. Um, they're selling franchises. They've got eight units sold. Uh, matter of fact, they just sold a ninth unit locally here in Cookville. Is that correct? Cookville. That's correct. Right. Cookville. And they've got eight company-owned units, which is what excites me because I've told you before, if the company's not willing to own their own product, I'd question it. And these guys do own it. They're actually growing as a company and growing as a franchise. So if you're interested at all in this brand, please get a hold of me, Mr. Free Enterprise, 1-800-411-2496. You got it. Hey, I got my number down, too. <laughs> it's so. amazing what you can learn yeah. in one day. But, but well, you know what, Barry? What I love about this concept, and I have eaten here millions of we times. Know they've got a booth <laughs> exactly. They almost have a burrito probably named after <laughs> me. But you know what's it? Every person can have what they want right. and it's fresh. And that's the future. Every Everything and you know that's it. Every time you turn on the television, what do we keep hearing? Restaurants are going to have to post calories, tell us what we're eating, as if we don't really know what's in our food. But they're going to tell us anyways. 
What's here, you don't have to worry about right. it because what? You got lettuce, you got tomatoes. These are all free, right? I mean, if you count calories at least. And then you can just choose, do you want to put some of the sour cream or not? You know, you can make it fat free or you can make it really fattening. And the great thing about the brand is they've got single store units available, they got three store units available, and they're actually looking at master franchises in outlying areas. So you've got the brand already established in this region, so to grow the brand would be fantastic. Right. Your, your risk reward would be much greater, you know. Uh, the, in, the incoming is greatly priced compared to most restaurants, and I think it's got the future because it's fresh. Right. For every individual. Exactly. Yeah. And so, you know, the bottom line is, Barry, what we want to be able to show people is you don't have to wait for someone to make your future. It's up to you to make your future. And this is just one of the many types of concepts we're going to be bringing to you every single time we get the opportunity to tell you more ways to take the money that you're either sitting on it and you're going to sit there and say, ah, Friday, I don't have any bloody money. Well, guess what? I bet you do. I bet you can find money because there's always way of financing your dream. Maybe you have to get a second job. Maybe you have to start small. There are ways. And we're going to help you find those ways every single time we bring Mr. Free Enterprise to our location and tell more about those fun and exciting concepts. We're going to go right back to the studio. Well, you know, watching that, I, I'm getting a little bit hungry here. There's a very good restaurant I might want to point out. But more important, what I want to basically show people is every single time you watch my show, I'm going to show you different ways that you're going to be able to put more money in your pocket by creating your future. If you're sitting at home right now and you're saying, hey, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow, well, what are you doing to create your future, really? All you are is either whining about today or you're not moving forward. Either way you look at it, you've got to get off that sofa. You've got to start figuring out. Put the resumes out start building that future for yourself if you've got questions or maybe you've got some concepts and you're not too sure where to go with them oh hey start right here go to my website it's www.drfriday.com and you can actually go right on where it says ask dr friday go right there put in your concept i'll be more than glad to either lead you in the right direction or help you find ways to finance your dreams because there is other ways there's angels that will actually help people build their dreams or you may actually have access to some retirement funds that you can convert over without paying the taxes first there are also many ways that you can actually do it without any money really i mean really some concepts are really all about you investing time networking the concept, getting out there and just basically telling people about what you're doing. It just depends on what your dream is, but sitting at home and just watching other people live their lives isn't the answer. And it's not going to grow this a com country the way we want it to be. We want to be able to make this country what it was before. And the only way to do that is through small business. I'm a firm believer of that. And I know you guys all watching know this because I keep pounding at home, but really if you want to figure out, and another great thing, which is my favorite thing, is taxes guess who gets the best tax advantages small businesses there's all kinds of fabulous tax advantages that you don't get when you're employed by somebody else so hey we're going to take a quick break here you're listening to in your prime and i want you to remember you can go to www.drfriday.com and get your free 2010 tax guide also you can uh, go out and sign up for some of my webinars that will be coming up and uh, they're going to be putting more money in your pocket knowing the new tax laws and plan Planning for 2010 and beyond. These are all great ways for you to be able to get somewhere. And if you need to reach me, pick up the phone, 367-0819. We're going to be right back with In Your Prime. within your prime and I am so lucky to have Kim Broussard with Farmers Insurance here to talk with me so we can know more about the insurance and how we can save more money. Kim, thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me. And Kim, you're with Farmers in Franklin, Tennessee. Is that That's correct. the correct area? Mm -hmm. Kim, tell us a little bit about uh, the type of insurance that you sell. Um, we do a little bit of everything. We do uh, personal lines, home and auto, uh, a lot of commercial insurance. We help protect businesses and workers' compensation, life insurance. Well, you brought up one of my favorite comps, so I'm going to mm -hmm. ask a little bit about work comp insurance. I know running my financial firm, a lot of small business owners 
either don't have it, don't know they even should have it, mm -hmm. or um, what the law is that requires them to have it. Mm -hmm. tell, tell them a little bit about work comp insurance as far as from the insurance side. Okay. Uh, the laws vary from state to state, but in Tennessee, um, if you have less than five employees, you're not legally required to have it, with the exception of contractors um, who, who are required to, even with just one employee. Uh, but that doesn't relieve you from, um, you know, possible lawsuits and things like that. We recommend uh, that everyone have it, even if you have just one employee. Um, even if you have a business where employees are just sitting at a desk, uh -huh. uh, you might send them out to the bank in, in, a, in your vehicle to make a deposit or 